Gary Gosliga from SCORE. I'm out here in Tombstone, Arizona. We finally made it. It was a hell of a trip. But uh, we got here kind of late in the afternoon and uh, somewhat disappointing we found out that the graveyard is closed after dusk. So a lot of people are thinning out. We're going to look around and see what we can find. I've got the Boot Hill Graveyard uh, descriptive list. There's more than 250 graves here and uh, we're going to go ahead and do some EVPs. Even though we have a roadway here, you just never know who might be floating around. Right? So let's go. Also, I want to say uh, my wife's doing a fine job. She's not part of the team. I drug her all the way out here. She's filming. So if the quality of the films are a little bit low, she hasn't gone through the four week training pro program that we all give to our techs. Mike Noonan, 1888. And this guy was killed by Indians. We're just gonna take a minute real quiet here and see what we can get on an EVP. Mike or anybody else, anybody else wanna say something? We have a device here. We're just out here in respect of all of you. Uh, if there's anyone here that would like to communicate, please do so now. Do you remember who killed you? What was the circumstance behind your death? Can you tell us your name? Okay, now I'm going to go back and do a review of that. We're just going to take a minute real quiet here and see what we can get on the EVP. Mike or anybody else, anybody else want to say something? We have a device here. We're just out here in respect of all of you. Uh, if there's anyone here that would like to communicate, please do so now. Okay, we'll continue on. Hakacha and friends, sisters of the children, in memory of a worthy pioneer. And at one time, I think this place really was dilapidated from what I read, and a special uh, committee and society got together and um, cleaned it up and uh, fixed it up, but for some time it was in disarray from what I can gather. And it wouldn't take long out here. Yeah, these are all Chinese. This is China Mary, born in China. Can you tell us your name? My name's Gary. This is my wife, Liz. If you can hear us, can you say either one of our names, Gary or Liz? We'll just keep going. Can you say either one of our names, Gary or Liz?
area is just beautiful. If you haven't been here, I'd highly suggest visiting it. Let's go down here and check it out. Looks like you lost out on the deal here at the OK Corral. People say Wyatt Earp was just doing his job. As Martian, what, what, what do you think about that, Billy? Now this is an incredible EVP at Tombstone in the cemetery. Somebody saying Wyatt. You're pretty upset with what Wyatt Earp was doing. You got anything to say to that son of a bitch? I know that Billy Clanton and you were pretty upset. I'm dying to get into this graveyard. And there's a way, if I go down here and I come back up, I can get right into this graveyard. I'm standing within 10, 15 feet of the Plantons and those three guys that were killed at the OK Corral, they're right here, right next to us. Okay, I tried to do something within 15 minutes of this place closing up at dusk tonight to no luck. Just too many people, too much noise. We have moments where there's some traffic going by here, but I think we might be able to do some EVPs and get something done here. I want to show you where we're at. At this gravesite of the Clanton and McLaurys. Let me have that camera. Check this out. Turn this so I can see it. Right down in there, you're looking at the headstones right there of, right there. There are three graves side by side. If Fabian was here, we'd be in the cemetery. But I don't have him here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to conduct an EVP or digital recording, try to catch some EVPs. We're going to pull out the uh, mill meter and this is about the best we're going to be able to do. My name is Gary. This is my wife Liz. We're out here to pay homage to all of you that were slain, whether by the Apaches or for some undo, un, undoing. And many of you were shot right here in town at Tombstone, buried right here on Boot Hill. Is there anybody out here roaming this area that wants to identify themselves so we can prove that you are here and we can hear your story? Tell us your name. Why were you murdered? I think we got a, a female and a male speaking on the last EVP. Very slight. Couldn't really determine what they were saying, but it sounded like a woman said something and a man followed up. So we'll break that down when we get the recording transferred onto the computer. It's very difficult to hear here. Also, I have some speakers over in, in the hotel room that I can actually play through um, and I'll probably be able to define where it was. Not a Class A, but it's something, at least something. So we've been here now for about 15 or 20 minutes. We haven't been here long and uh, sometimes these things can take a while. And I, I don't know if the spirits get warmed up to us or what. They don't know why we're here. You know, um, I can imagine that this happens quite a bit. I'm standing on the doorstep of a courtroom and untold amount of criminals have gone through here. Criminals that we all read about back in the westerns. I wonder if anybody is still hanging around at this courthouse pissed off. Well, it's bright and early here in Tombstone. We were here last night taking some pictures and I got an awesome picture um, right in front of the building. 
Here's the picture that Gary was referring to. It's probably one of the best captured photos that we ever had. In front of the courthouse, you'll see orbs. Underneath one of those windows, right here, is an orb. The next picture right after, you'll see the light and we shoot across and go right into that orb. It's an amazing picture. We took one right after the other. And it's probably the spirit trying to manifest. Also, I want to say uh, my wife's doing a fine job. She's not part of the team. I drug her all the way out here. She's filming. So if the quality of the films are a little bit low, she hasn't gone through the four-week training pro program that we all give to our techs. Mike Noonan, 1888. And this guy was killed by Indians. Page yard uh, descriptive list. There's more than 250 graves here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some EVPs. Even though we have a roadway here, you just never know who might be floating around. Right? So let's go. Gary Gosliga from SCORE. I'm out here in Tombstone, Arizona. We finally made it. It was a hell of a trip. But uh, we got here kind of late in the afternoon and uh, somewhat disappointing we found out that the graveyard is closed after dusk. So a lot of people are thinning out. We're going to look around and see what we can find. I've got the boot heel grave. We're just going to take a minute real quiet here and see what we can get on an EVP. Mike or anybody else Anybody else want to say something? We have a device here. We're just out here in respect of all of you. Uh, if there's anyone here that would like to communicate, please do so now.